When I was younger, I, I always wanted to be alone and isolated. And so I would go after school and spend hours in my room playing video games. or do, And I always thought of myself as, oh, I'm just independent or I just like to be alone. But in looking back at it, I was depressed and I was, I was numbing it with watching TV or playing video games or things like that. After the 2006 World Cup, I came home and for the first time in my life as a professional, I was criticized publicly. I'd always been the young star player, the young kid who nobody really um, critiqued. And all of a sudden, I got a lot of criticism. And for some reason, it took me into a really deep, sad place. And at that time, I still didn't know exactly what it was, but I knew what the feeling was. And that was sort of, in retrospect, that was my introduction to, into realizing that I would be dealing with depression and had for most of my life. And, and that's where it first was triggered. But it's difficult explaining it to people because if you've never experienced it, you can't really understand it. We take plenty of time if someone tears their hamstring or tears their ACL or gets a concussion even or hurts their shoulder. We play, take plenty of time and care and understanding what that is and we make sure they get healthy. But if you walk in depressed to training, it's like, well, get over it, feel better. Let's go, we gotta train. And so we need to make people understand that it's not only this, you know, in a lot of ways similar to a physical injury, in a lot of ways it's much worse and much more difficult to overcome. And we have to start to have that understanding if we want it to change in sports.